Another thing that you'll see in dealing with weak acid calculations is percent dissociation because percent dissociation is essentially a measure of how weak is your weak acid, how reactant favored is that acid when it reacts with water. And so the smaller the percent dissociation, the weaker essentially your acid is. So percent dissociation is basically just taking what you do in an ice table one tiny little step further. It's not anything too scary or too bad. You just have to make sure you're paying attention. So here's an example. You have a two molar acetic acid solution and I want to know what is the percent dissociation of this acid. So we're going to make an ice table just like we have for all of our other um, ice tables so far. We're going to make the 5% approximation because this K is substantially less than 1. 1 1.8 times 10 to the negative fifth is much less than 1. So we can assume that at equilibrium that 2 molar solution hasn't really changed very much. And X is going to be the same quantity that both of these go up by. We're going to use the Ka value that we were given. So 1.8 times 10 to the negative fifth is equal to X squared over 0.2. We do our arithmetic and we come out with x is 1.9 times 10 to the negative third. So we'll plug it in and then plug it in. And then the only new part here is the percent dissociation. So the percent dissociation is just how much did it associate over how much you began with. So you can just pick the concentration of H3O at equilibrium to represent how much it dissociated. And then this is just your initial concentration. Okay, so my initial concentration was 0.2, and then at equilibrium, it only dissociated to this concentration, not very, not very much. And then divide those two and multiply by 100, so this is only 0.95% dissociated, which means of that original 2 molar solution, only 0.95% of it dissociated. Does that make sense? Well, yes, it does, because this is a weak acid. A weak acid is not going to come anywhere close to fully dissociating. So having a percent dissociation in the range of 2 or 3 uh, is a very reasonable answer. And here, this is a weak acid. We're beginning with a low concentration of it. So yes, this is a reasonable answer. And your percent dissociations for weak acids will be relatively low. And that's all you have to do.